I knew moving to the countryside was a mistake. Granted, getting a house like this, in a place like this, for so cheap, I should have been suspicious. The first thing I noticed upon moving in was the giant wasp's nest planted right in the rafters above the porch. But the wasps aren't even the real problem. It's never good when wasps aren't the main problem. The main problem began when I awoke two days ago to find about half a dozen tiny cuts on each of my arms. They are little red wounds, about half the size of an M&M. They'd been bleeding a little, as evidenced by the dried-in blood, but had stopped before I woke up. As I inspected them, I realized that they weren't stings or bites. Exactly, which meant I had another infestation. Although, of what, I didn't know. I never saw anything during the day, so I deduced they must be living under the floorboards, or possibly in the walls. I noted that I usually leave my window open a crack as I sleep, but there was no evidence that they were living outside and coming in at night. No, I knew they were crawling around inside somewhere. So, that night, I went to sleep again, being extra vigilant with keeping my arms under the covers, and awoke again the next morning. I checked my arms and found that I now had dozens and dozens of little cuts on my arms, and now a few on my legs too. Freaked out, I went straight to a local physician. The doctor then examined the wounds and informed me that there was in fact no signs of any insect venom or interaction whatsoever. He seemed confused by it, as he said that it appears as if tiny chunks of skin had been manually carved out of my arms and legs while I was sleeping, with some manner of fine instrument. I didn't really know what to do with that information when I got home, other than to worry in case some maniac was breaking into my house and carving me up at night. Needless to say, I was pretty restless for the remainder of that day. I sat there on my porch, finishing my dinner as I thought about it. I put my knife and fork down and stared at the plate. A wasp was buzzing around the table. I watched it as it landed on a small slab of ham left on the plate. At first I thought I was eating it, but I soon realized that it was slicing a bit off with its mandibles to take away. I frowned as it chopped as much ham as it could carry and flew away, its six legs gripping the meat. My blood ran cold as I came down from the porch and climbed up onto the rafters to see the swarming wasp's nest dotted with dozens and dozens of tiny chunks of human flesh.